Hey guys, welcome to the third and final installment of our Nice Body Muscle and Fitness Series for MMA Strength and Conditioning. So in my past two videos, we looked at upper body and lower body strength, explosive power, and muscular endurance. This third one is gonna put everything to the test. Really a full compound explosive movement. Tire flip, when I say tire flip, I'm talking 620 pound tire flip. This thing is huge. We're gonna flip this, use the sledgehammer, do some throwdowns on it, and then whatever I've got left in, I'm gonna use up doing some hop in and out on the tire. This really is a brutal workout, but it's gonna push me in every area so that if I were theoretically to get into the ring, I've trained to my absolute highest intensity. 620 pounds, my heaviest deadlift, 560 pounds. So this is heavier than my deadlift. But with that tire flip, it's a little bit different technique. Anyway, the only way I can really do this is to give you a real life demonstration. So I'm gonna put myself to the test and then hopefully I've got enough breath left to actually break down each movement and show you how to perform this at your own pace. All right, let's start. Here's the tire. Not everybody in the gym can flip it. I know I can. So. You know the funny thing is, and this is real. I've literally just done this back and forth. All right, maybe I had a minute rest at the end before coming back, but this is not as challenging for me as the other two videos. My heart rate's already coming down. This is much more about strength and power for me. And I've got that. I may not be as strong as some of the guys in here or certainly in the weightlifting room, but for my height and build, that's what I've trained in. That's what I've conditioned myself to do. Get me doing this, and then in a minute on those <laughs> squat thrusts, yes. nah, -uh. my conditioning isn't there yet. It's okay. Because 
I've been focused on this particular skill set, if you like, power, strength. But uh, this, I mean, you've been watching all of the videos. Yes. See how it's just kind of <laughs> eyeing over the back what we're doing to me, make sure I do it right. But it's really showed me my strengths and my weaknesses. And I know from a fighter, you want to improve your strengths and bring your weaknesses right up there yes. to your strengths. And as a fitness, physique, fitness person really, enthusiast, competitor, we do the same thing. I want to see my weaknesses. And it's one thing to look at our physique and say, this needs work, this needs work. But how we get to that is the training and the type of training we put in. And if I'm doing a lot of low impact, heavy weight training, that's going to deliver a certain result. But if I start to bring in some high intensity, mix it up, train on several different platforms, you know, my physique can only get better. I can't see it kind of going downhill from training like that. So, Kathy, I have a question for you. Yes. Let's say I was under the, your watchful eyes and getting ready for a show, uh, an actual fight. Okay. Given my strengths and my weaknesses, where would you feel I would, I would be a, a good fighter? And which areas do you, do you feel that I would need to really focus on and build up to be a really good fighter? Okay. You have, a, you have strength, that's a given. But along with that strength, you have a very strong mind. Because there are a lot of times when fight, people who want to fight, they'll, they'll get into the type of training and then they realize just how much they have to put in. And that, in itself, makes them quit. Before they even get to the point where they're in the ring, they quit. Mm -hmm. So, truly, because you have the strong mind, you will, you will survive and go through every, every aspect of training that you need to do. To be the best person. You may not like it, but I'm going to commit to it. You're right. And a lot of people don't have enough to commit to it. They may, they may be strong in some areas, but their weaknesses are something they don't want to improve on or they don't have the desire to improve on. But they certainly don't have the dedication and the commitment to improve on it. Absolutely. I, I think a lot of that has come from doing competitions and having a deadline to get up on stage. You have to be ready. You know the competition that you're going to be up against. And and you have to be ready in that discipline, that commitment, that dedication. At times, I don't like getting up at 5.30 a.m. every morning. I don't Indeed. like weighing out my food all the time and having to not go out with friends and not eat more than I want to. But by putting that commitment in, you come out exactly where you need to be. And although fighting, I'm amazed by it. And, and you guys, guys and girls, are just blowing my mind with what you're able to do and the, the length and the intensity of the training. It appeals to me. I may not enjoy doing it half the time, but it appeals to me because of that commitment and that the science behind it. And there is the science behind it. Absolutely you can't just come in and, and throw some weight trying to be a great fighter. You have to you have to put everything you know, your heart and soul into this and develop every skill to be a great fighter. Yes you do. You, you nailed it on the head, my friend. <laughs> well, I think having gone through these uh, these kind of exercises and when we were kind of grappling and doing all those yes. combos. That was great fun, yeah. but I know you were going really easy on me <laughs> on was. that one. So, uh, you know, I'm going to put it over to you guys. This is our second year that we've done this. If you want to see more, you've seen me compete, you've seen me do the powerlifting, you've seen me do the CrossFit and all of the other areas. It's up to you. You guys can comment, you guys can like this video. If you want to see more, this is in my hometown, this is California. I'll come back here and maybe we can find someone, my kind of, height and size and build and you know we, we really will put all of this to the test and uh, have some fun with it so it's up to you guys you've got to vote and like this video okay but uh Kathy you've been amazing you. been such a great coach you've really really given me some tips to um we said earlier like literally think outside of I don't, I don't want to say box but the ring yes of course you know you have to really push yourself on every different area and uh Guys, we love going into the gym and working out chest on a Monday. Yeah. And you might have fantastic pecs, but how does your back compare to your chest? How do your calves compare to your chest? Are they balanced? Are they equal? Because if not, you better put that work in developing your calf because you're only as good as your weakest link. It's true. Whether you're in the ring, you're on the stage, on the track, or just looking at your body from a, you know, to look good and feel good. You're gonna make sure it all counts. So. Kathy, I'm going to leave you and actually go 
have some much and grub after <laughs> okay. these three videos. And uh, guys, keep watching more of these nice body series only with muscle and fitness. I'm Rob Riches. This is, of course, the one and only Kathy Long. And uh, we'll be back for more nice body features real soon. Keep watching, you know where it's at.